Hey guys, so in today's video I just wanted to talk to you about my thigh tattoos. My thighs are not completely finished. I still have a few blank spaces that I want to fill within the next few months or the next year. But I just want to talk to you guys about what I have so far. I'll talk about the meaning behind them as in why I got them. And then I'll also talk about pain. Everyone's pain experience is different, but I will tell you guys what hurt for me and what didn't hurt quite so much. And I'll also discuss the experiences as much as I can remember. So starting with my right thigh, I only have six pieces on my right thigh. The first piece that I got on my right leg was my Beauty and the Beast Rose that was done by Justin Castile. And it took probably about two hours or so. It wasn't too bad as far as pain. It was probably, I would give it like maybe a 5 out of 10 on the pain scale. And it was a very good experience overall. Actually, most of my thigh tattoos were good experiences. The reason I got the Beauty and the Beast Rose was because I've always loved that movie. I've always identified with Belle. And I've always thought that the storyline and, of course, the meaning behind that movie was really nice. So I just wanted a Disney tattoo. And I thought Beauty and the Beast, the rose from it, was the perfect representation. I don't know, I just liked the imagery. So really no deep meaning, I just like it. <laughs> then the next piece I got on my right thigh was my cat by Jesse Watson. That is an original painting by Jesse, and I just saw it at the tattoo convention back in April, and I loved the piece, and so Jesse and I set up an appointment. Again, really no meaning behind that. I just really liked his artwork, and that was actually the first original piece I ever got by Jesse. And so that obviously started a spiral of events with getting tattooed by Jesse. But again, the pain on that wasn't too bad. Towards the bottom of the cat, and especially his tail, that was a little more painful, but really at the top, it actually wasn't too bad. The part where his face is was a little tender because that's sort of moving toward my inner thigh, but really that tattoo was probably about a four and a half out of 10 on the pain scale. For me. The next piece that I got that's just on my right thigh was my vine painting by Jesse. That's also an original painting by Jesse Watson that I just saw on the wall of the tattoo shop and I was like, I have to have it. It's actually a pretty big piece. It's one of the biggest pieces I have and I thought it would fill that space that I had on my right leg really nicely. I never really intended on actually filling my right leg or my right thigh. I only wanted the Beauty and the Beast rose initially, and then when I decided to add the cat there, I thought, well, I'm sort of filling up my left leg more, might as well fill up the right leg too. So that's kind of how that came about. So I added that vine there, and that was actually my first tattoo that I had done in two sessions. We did the outline and some of the shading in one session, and then came back a few weeks later and finished up the shading and did all of the color. That tattoo did hurt a little more, especially at the very top of the vine when it starts to get close to um, my private areas. Just at the top, it was a little more painful than any other tattoo I'd had on my thighs at that point. So overall, I'd probably give the tattoo like a 4 out of 10, but up towards the top of the tattoo, I'd probably give that more like a 6.5 out of 10. That was way more tender than the other areas, but overall that tattoo wasn't bad. And again, I just liked the artwork and I thought it was pretty and I wanted lots of color on my legs. And that painting just so happened to fit perfectly in that spot and I love it. So yeah, that's the meaning behind that. Really no meaning at all. Then the last tattoo that I have on my right leg that's just on my right leg and doesn't go with my left leg, I'll explain that in a minute, is my Felix Felicis tattoo, and that was done by Bubba. And the reason that I wanted that is because I've always loved Harry Potter. You guys know that if you've watched any of my videos. And also my cat's name is Felix Felicis. Well, Felix Felicis Mendelssohn, but you know, the Felix Felicis is definitely in his name. And that's also because of my love for Harry Potter. So Bubba had drawn up some flash and as soon as I saw that tattoo or that sketch, I was like, I have to have it, let's do it. And the design that Bubba did fits so perfectly in this little spot that I had on the outside of my right thigh. And it just sort of like finished out the outer thigh tattoos on my right leg perfectly. So I'm so happy with that one as well. So the other two tattoos that I have on my right thigh also tie in with tattoos on my left thigh. And the first one of those that I got was the stay gold on the backs of my thighs. And those were done by Justin Castile. I have always loved the movie, The Outsiders. And there's the part of the movie when Pony Boy recites the poem that says nothing gold can stay. And then, spoiler alert, when Johnny passes away, he says, stay gold, Pony Boy, stay gold. And I remember I saw that movie, well I read the book and then we watched the movie I think in school in like maybe 6th or 7th grade. So ever since then I have loved that story and loved that idea of stay gold. And I know it's kind of cliche now, you know, everybody gets stay gold tattoos, but I've wanted that for a really long time. 
So that's the meaning behind that on the backs of my legs. The pain for those was probably worse than any other thigh tattoo that I have, honestly. Those were like a seven and a half out of 10, probably. They weren't the most painful tattoos I've ever had. It wasn't the most painful spot overall, but the experience was just very different from anything else I'd had at that point. I've had worse tattoos since, obviously, and I'd even had worse tattoos before that, but it's just a very different kind of pain. Anytime I get tattooed on a part of my body that I can't see, the experience is just totally different for me than a part where I can actually look down and watch the tattoo being done. I feel like I'm sort of separated from the experience. So anytime I have a tattoo that I can't really watch, for some reason it's always a little more painful. Just because I guess I'm just really disconnected from the experience. I don't know why it's so much more painful. Maybe it's all psychosomatic, but to me it just seems more painful. And with that being such a tender area, you know, kind of under your butt, I feel like the backs of the thighs are pretty tender for anyone, male or female, whether you're muscular or not. That's just a pretty tender area. So that one was, I would honestly say, the most painful out of any of my thigh tattoos. And then the next tattoo that I got that sort of incorporates both legs was my Hopeless Romantic. And I guess some people would say that this really isn't a thigh tattoo because it's kind of like right above the knee, but I don't know. I would consider it more of a thigh tattoo than a knee tattoo. It's sort of in a weird area in between the two areas, but I'm gonna include it in this video because to me it's part of my upper leg tattoos. There's no real deep meaning behind the Hopeless Romantic. I've just always liked the look of scripts right above the knees, like on that part of a woman's body. I've always thought that looked really nice with just like scripts there. And I am a Hopeless Romantic through and through. I'm just a textbook romantic. It's fine. I've accepted it. But I was just kind of shooting around ideas with Zach one night about tattoos that would look cool there or words that would look cool there. And I was like, what about Hopeless Romantic? He's like, yes, I love that. Do that. So once I had the idea in my head, I just, I had to do it. So yeah, no real deep meaning behind those. Mainly I just like the look of script there. So moving on to my left thigh now. The first tattoo I actually got on my left thigh or first tattoo I got on my legs at all was the outline of my Kentucky and that was done by an artist that I no longer go to so I'm not going to even mention that but it was filled in and re-outlined by Jesse Watson like I'd had it for quite a while before Jesse actually filled it in but I'm really really happy with what he did it's his original artwork he had a painting that was similar that I think he actually tattooed on his brother and I really liked the idea behind that, but obviously my tattoo was much smaller than that, so he kind of did that same idea in mind with the rose and the leaves with the silhouette background, so I really like what he did with it. And the meaning behind that is that I am from Kentucky. I love Kentucky with all of my heart. I used to hate it and want to move away and leave forever, but now it is my home. And so I sort of got that tattoo to symbolize that I am at peace with my home. And like I said, it did sort of start the collection of thigh tattoos that I now have. So that's a pretty significant tattoo to me, even though it is so small. I wish it were more visible. I wish I had gotten it in a more visible place on my legs, but at the time I didn't think I would ever fill in my entire legs, much less my entire thighs. So at the time I wanted it to be very discreet and hideable, but I still love the tattoo, even though it is sort of in a place that people don't really see all that often. The next tattoo I got on my left thigh was my little outline of a cat. There's no meaning behind that at all. I literally saw it on the internet and I was with my friend and decided I was going to get a random spur of the moment tattoo for my birthday and I got it. And again, that's by an artist I no longer go to. I'm not super happy with the tattoo now. I mean, it looks fine, but it doesn't go with any of the rest of my tattoos on my left thigh. I mean, it's not like I regret it necessarily, but now when I look at everything on my left thigh, I'm just like, man, that kind of doesn't fit. So it is what it is. We all have those tattoos that we're just like, what was I thinking? You know, if you're heavily tattooed, you probably have at least one or two that you're not crazy about. And I'm okay with the fact that I'm not crazy about it. I don't ever plan on getting it covered or removed or anything like that. I'm just gonna keep it. It's still a cute cat. And it reminds me of a time in my life when I thought I would be heavily tattooed so it's kind of funny now to look at it and be like huh that was like my 12th tattoo or something like that so it is what it is it's cute it was my birthday present to myself that year so yeah whatever the next tattoo I got on my left thigh was my cruelty free bunny and that was actually the first tattoo that Justin Castile ever did and that's another one that I I love that I have it because I'm still cruelty free and I love that I have a tattoo to symbolize that but I wish I'd gotten it much smaller and in a place that was maybe not as noticeable because again it doesn't really flow with the rest of the tattoos that I have on my left thigh. However, that was the tattoo that led to me being close friends with everyone at Big Daddy's and eventually led 
to me meeting my now future husband. So I'm happy with it because in my mind it symbolizes what started the best experience I've ever had in my life, which was being a part of the Big Daddy's family. So it's cool, I like it, whatever. And then I kind of start forgetting the order that I got some of these in, so I'm just gonna kind of go across the upper part of my left thigh. The anchor at the top was done by another artist that I no longer go to as well, but it was pretty much just a filler at that point. I wanted something that would kind of fill that space, and I liked the idea of an anchor kind of for my dad because he was in the Navy, so that's kind of why I got that tattoo. And all of the tattoos on the outer and upper part of my left thigh pretty much hurt about the same. It was about a 5 out of 10. Nothing was too, too painful. It wasn't the least painful tattoos I've ever had but they definitely weren't bad at all. Really, I don't think that any of my thigh tattoos were all that bad, except maybe the backs of my thighs. Pretty much everything else was just like pretty bearable, you know? Then Justin Castile did the Russian doll that I have sort of on the front upper part of my left thigh, and that's really just for my mom. She and I used to collect little Russian nesting dolls when I was growing up, and so it just reminds me of my childhood and my mom, and all that sort of nostalgia type stuff. And that one again wasn't too bad pain wise. Her face started to hurt a little because that was getting more towards that private area like I mentioned with the other tattoo that Jessie did, but overall it wasn't too terrible. I would say like about a five out of 10 except for the face, which was maybe more of like a six to a six and a half out of 10. Then at the tattoo convention, Justin did the little sparrow or swallow that I have sort of as filler between the bunny and the doll. No real meaning behind that, I just like traditional stuff. I thought it was cute. I needed something small there. That's pretty much why I got it. Again, pain scale, probably like a four out of 10. Not bad at all. Then moving back over to the fleur de that I have on the inner part of my left thigh that was also done by Justin. And really that just symbolizes my connection with the city of Louisville. The fleur de is kind of known now as a symbol for the city of Louisville. And it's also pretty traditional. So I thought that would be a really cool piece to put there to sort of fill out that part of my upper left thigh and then I started moving down from there. Next, Justin did my Gypsy Girl on the front of my left thigh. And that's really just to symbolize how I never see myself really staying in one place for very long. I see myself doing a lot of things and holding a lot of different careers over my lifetime. And Justin also put the word traveler in the banner that is sort of under the Gypsy Girl. And I really like that because it just perfectly incorporated what I wanted in the tattoo and also kind of ties in the tattoos around it as well. Next, I have my little love letter envelope and also the lipstick both by Bubba. The lipstick was just flash from I think like the Halloween flash sheet. Just filler, just because I like makeup. No meaning behind that at all. I just really liked how it looked. And the love letter or the envelope was another original flash piece by Bubba that he just had available to tattoo. And I saw it and I was like, that's exactly it. Because I'd wanted a love letter for the longest time in that spot on my left thigh, but I couldn't ever find a reference that I really liked to show an artist like, hey, these are the elements I like. This is what I don't like etc etc and then I saw Bubba's sketch and I was like oh my god that's it like that's exactly what I want I guess he just saw in his mind what I wanted he just knew so I had him just do his original piece there and there's no real meaning behind it again I just like traditional artwork and I thought it would work really well there with what I already had and what I knew I wanted to add so I just really wanted to make that part of my left thigh my traditional travely wanderer type part of my leg, I don't know. And then the most recent piece that I've gotten on my left thigh and the last tattoo I'm gonna talk about in this video was my big compass and roses piece by Justin Castile. That again, just sort of ties in with the gypsy girl and the love letter. I wanted a compass with traditional roses and so I just told Justin, hey, I wanna fill this space. I want compass and roses, you do what you want. And he filled that entire space of my left thigh which pretty much covers all of the upper part of my left thigh. I have a little bit of a blank space on the inner part, um, like on the really inner part. But other than that, pretty much my left thigh is covered now, which I'm super happy about. And that one was also done in two sessions. We did the outline and then a few weeks later we came back and did all of the shading and the color. So I mean, obviously the pain is pretty much gonna be the same on the left thigh as it was on the right. My Gypsy Girl was about a four or five out of 10. The envelope was a little more painful because it was on the inner part, maybe like a six and a half out of 10. And then the Compass and Roses was not bad at the bottom, probably like a three and a half out of 10 at the bottom. And then when he got up to the blue rose that's kind of like almost on my butt, 
That was like an 8 out of 10. That one was pretty bad. I'd say that one would rank up there with my more painful tattoos that I've ever had. And that one took a little longer too. Most of my tattoos took like one to two hours and that one Justin probably spent closer to like two and a half or three hours I don't know I wasn't like sitting there with a stopwatch timing him but I do know that one took a little longer I'm talking about the color and shading session not the outline the outline took like an hour but yeah that one was a little rougher pain wise at the top but the bottom was cake and I know you guys can kind of see the tattoos on the backs of my knees but since my left one isn't finished yet I'm going to talk about those in a different video. They will have a whole experience video dedicated just to them because getting the backs of your knees tattooed is a pretty interesting experience. So yeah guys, sorry this video was so long and rambly but I get so many questions all the time. Oh, can you show us all your tattoos or all your leg tattoos together, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna split my leg tattoos up into a couple different videos at least. Like I said, I'll dedicate an entire video to the backs of my knees. I've already dedicated an entire video to just the fronts of my knees. So here's my thigh tattoo video. Stay tuned for my lower leg tattoo video. I'll talk about all the tattoos that I have like below the knee. Because if I talked about all of my leg tattoos in one video, we would literally be here all day. So I hope this was enjoyable and gave you guys the answers that you wanted. If you still have questions about any of the tattoos or if I forgot to mention something, just ask me in the comments below. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. Any goals for the new year besides tattoos and piercings? And what was your favorite part of last year? Uh, yeah, I do have goals for this year other than just getting tattooed and pierced.